This book is called Animal Friends. When I was little, my mommy read this book to me. It was one of my favorites. Let's read it together now. Animal Friends by Jane Werner. Once upon a time, in a small house deep in the woods, lived a lively family of animals. Well, look at those animals. We're going to meet them. There were Miss Kitty and Mr. Pup, Brown Bunny, Little Chick, Fluffy Squirrel, Pokey Turtle, and Tweeter Bird. Each had his little chest and her little bed and chair, and they took turns cooking on their little kitchen stove. They got along nicely when it came to sharing toys, being quiet at nap times, and keeping the house neat. But they could not agree on food. When Miss Kitty cooked, they had milk and catnip tea and little bits of liver on their plates. Pup didn't mind the liver, but the rest were unhappy. They didn't like any better the bones Pup served them in his turn. Nor Bunny's carrot dinners, or Tweeter's tasty worms, or Turtle's ant's eggs, or Squirrel's nuts. When Bunny fixed the meals, she arranged lettuce leaves and carrot nibbles with artistic taste. But only Tweeter Bird, can you see Tweeter Bird there, would eat any of them. And when Tweeter served worms and crisp, chewy seeds, only Little Chick would eat them. And Little Chick liked bugs and beetles even better. Pokey Turtle would nibble at them, but what he really hungered for were tasty ants' eggs. Fluffy Squirrel wanted nuts and nuts and nuts. Without his sharp teeth and his firm paws, the others could not get a nibble from a nut, so they all went hungry when Fluffy got the meals. Finally, they all knew something must be done. They gathered around the fire one cool and cozy evening and talked things over. The home for me, said Mr. Pup, is a place where I can have bones and meat every day. Meow, I want milk and liver instead of bugs and seeds, said Miss Kitty. Nuts for me, said Squirrel. Oh, and eggs, yawned Turtle. Crispy lettuce, whispered Bunny. A stock of seeds, dreamed Bird, and some worms make a home for me. New homes are what we need, said Mr. Pup, and everyone agreed. So next morning they packed their little satchels and they said their fond goodbyes. Squirrel waved goodbye to them all, for he had decided to stay in the house in the woods. Oh, look at this. He started right in to gather nuts. Soon there were nuts in the kitchen stove, nuts in the cupboards, nuts piled up in all the empty beds. There was scarcely room for that happy little squirrel. The others hopped along till they came to a garden with rows and rows of tasty growing things. Here's the home for me, said Bright-Eyed Brown Bunny, and she settled down there at the roots of a big tree. Oh, little Chick found a chicken yard full of lovely scratchy gravel where lived all kinds of crispy, crunchy bugs. Here I stay, chirped Chick, squeezing under the fence to join the other chickens there. Look at these pictures. 
Pokey Turtle found a pond with a lovely log for napping. Half in the sun, half in the shade. Close by the log was a busy, bustling anthill full of the eggs Turtle loved. Tweeter Bird found a nest in a tree above the pond where he could see the world, the seeds on the grasses, and the worms on the ground. This is the home for me, sang Bird happily. Mm. Miss Kitty went on till she came to a house where a little girl welcomed her. Here is a bowl of milk for you, Miss Kitty, said the little girl, and a ball of yarn to play with. So Miss Kitty settled down in her new home with a purr. Oh, Mr. Pup found a boy in the house next door. The boy had a bone and some meat for Pup, a bed for him to sleep in, and a handsome collar to wear. Bow wow, barked Pup. This is the home for me. That night, each one as he went to sleep said, At last I found the best home of all, the very best home for me. Look, is that great? And that's the end.